Hey everyone, welcome to Texas. Just before we start this video, though, this video was made possible by Forte Audio. At the checkout, enter the promo code GEMS5 to get 10% off any Forte product. Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you quite an old OS. This is actually the first release of Ubuntu. So we're going to have a look at, you know, what's changed, what's in, what was there originally, and yeah, when things happen. So first thing you're going to want to do is most likely it's going to set up using a started CD-ROM and a, what is it, an SCI or something. You'll set up as an SCSI drive, but you'll need to set these all to IDs so that uh, Ubuntu can read it. So, we've got my thing in here, I'm just going to connect the drive so I can install. And this is actually a re record of um, previous my previous recording. As the first time I did get it successfully installed, um, it did record, however it would just boot into a terminal line, so I thought, oh, well, because I was using the AMD64, I thought maybe I'll try the 32-bit version, and this is it, and it works, I just tested it about a minute ago, and it all logs in, so I'm going to do it. So it's just loading some hardware network and good things in. Shouldn't take too long. And I'll set this as Ubuntu 4.1. Okay. Yes, I'll erase my disk. Yes. And it'll just create a new partition for it. Alright, so it's just installing the Ubuntu base on here now. Alright, so as you can see now, it says that the base system configuration is ready to be run. So we'll just hit OK, and go that, and I'll just type my name in. Yes. I don't think that's going to be right, but I'm going to type it if I need to. Yep. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, I'm going to download that. Alright, so the system is finished installing. So we'll just hit OK. And should boot in. There we go. <laughs> um, so for some reason, when I go to log in and out, it'll for some reason play a um, fuzzy static noise. I don't know why. Um, Alright, so for some reason, whenever I go to log in, it will play a strange fuzzing noise um, in my speakers, which really annoys me. It's not the best idea. But yeah. Oh, that's what it's been. Um, as you can see, it's just a uh, basic. Own desktop here. We have the menu, we have system tools. This is actually using Open Office instead of Library Office. Uh, we have a few settings here. We take a screenshot, save screenshot, and I'll show you a quick personalization option. Now we go into desktop preferences. Um, uh, no, can't turn up my resonate. I think 
Uh, we will go Resident theme. You can do that. And yeah, there's a few themes pre-installed. This one I use. I just like the colors and that. But yeah, that does it. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. But follow us on Twitter for updates. And I'll see you in the next video.